Linux versus Windows command. <clears throat> Why do we care about Windows when we are learning Linux, right? Well, certain times you do have to get into Windows to work or to perform certain tasks that will transfer files from one location to another or to run certain commands. So certain things that you would have to do eventually to work with Windows. But of course, mostly Windows is all GUI, but I think it's good that you should know certain differences of between Linux and Windows. I will log into my Linux machine as well as I will bring up the Windows command line as well. What? Is there a Windows command line? <laughs> yes, there is. There is a Windows command line, but um, it is not purely used just like as Linux is used. But there are certain commands that we will run in Windows that does some of the functions that Linux does. Here are the few commands that you will see that are pretty much works the same way as it works in Linux. But the name of the command is different. So listing of a file or directory in Linux is ls-l, in Windows is dir. To rename a file is move in Linux and ren in Windows. Copy, simply straight copy, copy, and in Linux is copy, cp. Move and move, cls and clear, del, which is to do remove a file or remove a directory, and rm in Linux. FC is to compare two files. DIF is to de compare two files. Find is to find something inside of a file, whereas grep does that in Linux. To get some help in Linux, you get man, and to get some help in Windows, you run command slash uh, a question mark, sorry. And then we have display your location in file system. We do PWD. And in Linux is change DIR or CHDIR. I don't know how it, it is pronounced. And the last one, we have date and time. Of course, the commands do not stop here. There are many other commands, but I'm just giving you examples of a few of them that there are some command lines that Windows have put up over the years to compete with Linux. But everybody knows that Windows is primarily used because it's GUI based and Linux is primarily used in Linux because it's terminal or command line based. And when you have a command line as opposed to GUI, GUI takes a lot of CPU, a lot of memory and Linux command line does not. So that's why Linux is so much faster. And then also with the command lines, you could do so many things as opposed to Windows. So I'm going to log into my Linux machine and run a few commands. The one I highlighted just to um, get to the lessons uh, and just to get to make you understand what exactly the difference is. So this is my command line in Linux. And I'm going to go over some of the ones that I have here is CL and in Linux. So when I do LS minus LTR, it's the messages come up when I type clear, it clears the screen. In Windows, I have this terminal open. If I type anything like this, hit enter, 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 or uh, I could just see LS and it clears the screen as well. Then I have other commands such as move the cursor such as help command slash so if I have a command that I'm running let's say dir then I will hit slash and question mark see it is giving me exactly not exactly but pretty much the same way as Linux does and I do man on ls this gives me the same help Windows have actually catching up a lot of things in the command line, just like for Linux. And the reason they do that, they know that system administrator engineers who are really dealing with something very specific or something more robust, or they wanted to get the result right away, they wanted to get into the command line. So to do the to do com 
compete in the market. That's why they came up with these command lines. The next one I have chdir, which tells me which directory I am. And in Linux, what that command is, pwd, which directory I am. Then the last one is time. And in Linux, it's date. And it's time over there. I want you to run it yourself. Um, if Yeah, I think I should run it because there's one thing I do want to tell you that when you run time, it does give you a time. And then it prompts you to enter new time. Well, you don't have to worry about it. So you just control C out of it. Just like that, you control C out of Linux machine. So these are a few uh, things that you should know. Um, if you are getting into Linux, uh, job and Linux environment. It does not mean that you just gonna forget everything about Win Windows Windows uh, Has been there for a while. It's uh, I would say it's a very good operating system in terms of uh, desktop uh, users who use it every day and uh, Of course most of the desktop market uh, is captured by Windows. We should not forget that we should give that credit to Microsoft of course but in server environment and corporate environment where the higher level applications runs, then of course Linux wins. All right, guys.